our world championship leader, Mark Marquez. Q1, who sets the benchmark time. The first of the flying laps are coming through. Remember, the all-time lap record of this circuit was set by this man last week, a 22.9. Zarco beat it yesterday, a 22.8. Alex Marquez has set a 24.2, that's a 23.5 to start things off, and that's a pretty challenge, Martin or Marquez at the top. Fourth. I'm trying to dig why they would do that, and from what David has said, a couple other people, it seems like it's like right now, keep an eye, uh, you can see it's unpainted in my opinion. And do to get heat away from those tyres. Thanks very much uh, for that, Simon. Interesting. Um, when Trump thought about the back end of last year when he was on Honda's payroll, of course. A 123.790. Here's that quickest man of the session so far. He's going to go even quicker here as well. He does. Jorge Martin picks a P2 as they come across the line. Then will there be any change here? Rins does improve. A 23.5 and a 23.6. He's the line. He's second. He does improve. Marquez can't make it. Martin is absolutely smashing it here on his new soft rear tyre. What about Oliveira? Is he going into the top three? Yes. Yeah. He goes up to third with a 123.611. Martin finds more time. Brilliant job this time. He nudges out Alex Rins. What a performance by the injured Miguel Oliveira. 123-365 of Martin again. For the 11th pole position of 2021. That will be bettered by some big margin. And it is immediately by Brad Binder. 124-079. Just distracted behind him as Martin. who followed him in as well. So the first lap time of the session will be set by Miguel Oliveira, 124.377. Not his strong point, the South African. Yeah, Zarco, as he so often does this weekend, finds himself locked into P1, just where he wants to be. He's the first man, ATM's first ever MotoGP pole. As much as I'd like to see it, it's very unlikely to happen as Zarco goes fast as Brad Binder not had a pole position since Aragon. Up to all the expectation and hype so far. Mir will probably go pole, but for not much longer. 23.688 does it, but straight away, blink of an eye, less than 10 seconds later. And closer already to those 122s. Fabio Quattararo across the line for Ducati. They're right next to each other. 63, Bagnaia will be first across the line. He goes fourth. Oh, it's Martin again a 23.037 is the time to be he attacks hard that final corner a 122.827 that's the all-time lap record Quattararo wants pole it is it's wow. pole and a new all-time lap record what a last sector estimated p5 let's keep tabs in there goes the suzuki rear dropping down of that right high device yeah he goes third that's a great lap time by Mir as well he's a long long one 22.677 Close to track limits there as he comes across the line. He needs this lap. Banyaya. He goes up onto the front row. A 23 2. Great lap from back away from Marquez in sector two. The two factory Ducati riders. What can they muster? Oliveira moves to 10th. That's a good effort from the Portuguese man on the grid for tomorrow's race. Yeah, that'll be job done. He'll be happy with that, no question. Through sector three. This is going to be crucial now. How far away is he? Two tenths. He could still maybe move up one spot here, but surely he's not going to manage the grid. He's currently in sixth spot. I don't think he'd be too unhappy with a second road start. He'd like better. Oh, it was close. He got up to fourth. Miller goes fifth. Juan Mir. Binder's also on a good lap here, which could take him onto the second row of the grid. Banyaya then, with just less than a minute left, comes across the line and he does improve his time. He stays on the front row at a pole position. Over the crest, they come accelerating hard. Out of turn number eight. Oh, oh Martin! Jorge Martin! We've already seen an incredible all time lap to two. The number 89, he's got his teammate, Joan Zarco, just up ahead of him, as well as the references. Jorge Martin about to storm to another. It's in the hands of Jorge Martin now to break Quattararo's heart here and his all time record. He's back across the line. He's done it! Pole again! Jorge Martin! This time a Ducati rider took back to back pole positions. I stand to be corrected, but what a job. He won in Q2. Unbelievable in Oliveira. What a job that is. Laid it all on the line. He could not have done anything more. 
A 122.677 on any other weekend would have been absolutely electric <laughs> in qualifying. Fabio Quadraro there was probably thinking, yep, yeah, I'll have a nice new shiny T. So watch on the.